PETA has been defeated in a court ruling involving a primate taking selfies. Okay, so this has to do with Naruto, which is a macaque monkey. Okay, and the incredible thing about this macaque monkey is when a nature photographer by the name of David Slater left his camera and tripod near the macaque monkey, it just started taking selfies. And so PETA started fighting in court to ensure that the monkey had copyrights to the images that it took of itself. Okay, so th those are the images. Um, now again, these images were taken by Naruto. This is the most amazing story ever for so many different reasons. A, the selfies are incredible. David Slater so, took these selfies so and put it in his own book, and of course, he profits off of that. So that's why PETA went after him and said, hey, you know what, you don't own the rights to those images. The Nar Naruto does, and so you can no longer include these images in your book for profit. Come on, come on, come on. And so a judge ruled <laughs> against PETA, let me give you that. Um, so activist group, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, brought the case in San Francisco on behalf of this Indonesian simian Naruto who shot to fame last year after a photographer published pictures taken by the monkey with his camera. PETA petitioned the court to have the macaque declared the author and owner of his photograph. However, Judge William Oreck said that while Congress and the president can extend the protection of law to animals as well as humans, there is no indication that they did so in the Copyright Act. I think everyone is enjoying the fact that in the previous story you dropped your hand on the table while uh, talking about uh, uh, open carry people right and, right yeah. showing off their their big guns right sure yeah. uh, and then here uh, you've said repeatedly the macaque <laughs> no no macaque is the best name for it a is. monkey I think it's macaca I don't know but I looked could, it up and it was oh macaque. macaque well it could and the way it looks like macaque but mm -hmm. and well it clearly it comes from the same word that killed George Allen's Senate campaign, because that's what he called the guy who was from Jim Webb's campaign that was shooting the video. He called him macaca, which was a, a word that had been used at other times I to remember. disparage brown, black and brown people, essentially, I think, calling them monkeys. Mm -hmm. um, that was a word that his family had used, and he was like, hey, my mom used it, which was his way of going like, hey, my mom was racist. Yeah. Um, uh, but anyway, it's the it was a strange word I had never heard before. They clearly come from they must come from the same place. But yeah, probably yeah. Yeah. Um, these. But anyway, we're all enjoying you saying the word. How, so how do you pronounce it? I believe macaque. If I'm wrong, I apologize. I looked it up. Uh, maybe my source wasn't correct, I but I believe it's macaque. Right, well, you said it twice. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I like is it sounds like the way a uh, Cockney gentleman would refer to his penis. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when was the last time you rubbed uh, your macaque? <laughs> when was the last time your macaque got some love? <laughs>